keep looking like you I can't take no more I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet hey talking guys, to me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel My name is Tata Fox And this is the Tata Fox Express Track boom, 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 boom. As you can see, I've got a lovely guest. I've got Unkateko Techies. Dinwiddie. Zaka, 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 Zaka. Did we say your full name? Yeah, Unkateko Techies Dinwiddie. She is a, what are you? Tell us, tell the people there what you are. So guys, I am a dancer at first, turned into a choreographer. I am the founder of Rocky and Heels a Dance Workout, and I am a digital content creator. Yes. And I am a mother of two. And I'm married to Christopher James Dinwiddie, known as Darling. That is, that is literally what he's known as. People call him Darling. So yes. guys, and Tata goes here with us. Um, I am going to do a... I don't want it to say Thai because there will be some Thai people who look at this and be like, that's not Thai. <laughs> that ain't Thai. Um, I'm going to do an easy like 15 minute noodle whilst we chat about... How about mamas? Mama, mama. And insecurities that we have as women, especially after giving birth and body dysmorphia. Mm -hmm. So I've put in here my Sichuan um, peppers. It really I've smells good. I've put cinnamon stick and I've put two starnies. I'm going to go in and put in my ginger. I like a lot of ginger.
while for me to um, my body to adjust and to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight and I think when I looked at my body after having the baby I first thought oh, I'll breastfeed and I'll go back to my normal weight because that's what people tell you that's what you get told that you mm. breastfeed and you are like body goes back and that didn't happen and then um, I said okay I'm gonna stop exercising but then one month, two months, three months, four months, I was tired, five months, baby needed to get shots, baby starts teething, I'm too tired, baby now is not sleeping the night. I was just too tired to get back into like a routine. And then I woke up one day and I just didn't recognize the woman who's in the, in the mirror. So it's taken me a long time, I've now started going to the gym, but I think the journey of going back to the gym and having me time has made me realize that um, I, I do take my body for granted and it's taken a long time for it to get to where it is now exactly and i think you know what i think a lot of people forget we don't we don't um fall pregnant and give birth after a month your no. body goes through nine months of changing stretching things moving around inside so it's not gonna take less than that to get yeah. back to normal if anything we'd never get back to what we were before yeah your body's changed and it's it's gonna be like that yeah um, and I think another thing people also need to realize, be kind to your body. Take your time. Um, like you're saying, there's times things happen when you're a mom. Things be life becomes a bit stressful. You start giving a lot of time to your child uh, because you want the best for them. Yes. But I also think it's also important to make time for yourself. Which is, I'm happy that you're now making time for, for myself. you. Yeah. And doing things that make you happy and making things that make you you just sometimes you just need to breathe you know like i love going for like jogs in the morning happy things darling things i'm exercising sometimes i'm like i need a break it's my me time yeah. i just need to think and just not maybe not hear kids and darling screaming at me yeah. you know yeah. you just yeah, need definitely. that time yeah. it's so it's so important it's so to make important. time for yourself and i think it's um a lot of uh moms also have mom guilt oh, yeah. oh what if, if i give myself 10 minutes I'm taking away from the child. Oh no, let me do the child. Yes. But you need to take care of yourself first so you can take care of yeah. the kids. That's I, yeah. Yeah. I always tell people like fill up your cup. When your cup is full, you are gonna do the best job ever mm. for yourself and your family. So well, that's true. No, it's true. And it, it's taken it's not our kitchen swimming, not our kitchen. And I and, and I I tell like myself that all the time, but I think it's so hard in practice. It is. I'll cut that out more. I think it's 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 hard in, in practice to actually just settle down and give yourself me time. Yeah. Um, we're really used to are like giving our kids everything and giving our partners everything. That's true. And then when we look in the mirror and it's time to look at yourself, you don't recognize the person in the mirror anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad I'm in this space. Um, but how would you advise? So let's say for example, moms who are um, new moms don't have time to like go to the gym can't afford the gym they say they can't afford the gym yeah how would you advise them to start getting active it's like okay cool so there's so many things you can do while you're cooking we, we could be doing this right car phrases while you're waiting for whatever's bubbling in it to bubble you know uh -huh. do some squats while you're moving to the fridge to the cupboard to get something squat on your and lift your leg Aha, uh -huh, come back here, lift the other leg. There's so many things you can do just yeah. to keep moving. Even moments where your child is napping. Yeah. Even moments where your child is napping. Put on put on a song you like and just dance like no one's watching. Um, also stretching. And I think a lot of people think I need one hour to get a full workout. You don't. Give yourself five to fifteen minutes if possible and just move your body. And make sure you're doing something that you actually enjoy. Yeah. Like don't go now and skip and you know you don't like skipping or going running and you dread it every day. Yeah, yeah. Do things that make sense with your personality. Because what's the point of doing something if you're not gonna enjoy it? You're gonna stop and then you won't be consistent. Yes. However, if you find something fun that you enjoy, like I see now you're starting to enjoy Zumba, you're always there. I am, I am. You 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 make it a point to get there because you love it. Bad uh -huh. rhythms. Hey, because <laughs> people in the <laughs> class are Hey. Well, mad with it, but <laughs> I, you know what the most important thing is that I'm moving exactly and at first I thought oh, I need to get these dance moves but when I look at the amount of calories I've burnt in the class mm -hmm. it's crazy even though I've been 
the class is going left, I am going yeah. right. People are turning around, I'm still looking at them. Exactly. But it's worth it because at the end of the day, when I go out of the class, I feel so good and I feel like I'm ready to face my day and I've had time to myself to not have to think about, is Mackenzie napping? Mm -hmm. Has she eaten? Has Scott had breakfast yet? Uh -uh. Everybody, everybody, oh, everybody must sort themselves out for at least one hour in my day. Exactly. And also, guys, playtime. When you play with the kids, don't shake things. Jump up and down with them. That's you moving your body yeah. while you're playing with your child and entertaining them. Done. And if, let's say, for instance, for a busy mom who go, wakes up, goes to work, is, hardly has time to even cook or whatever, when you're at work, find moments where you can just, um, for instance, if you coffee break, what do you do when you're having lunch? You sit right get up move walk even walking walking is actually the best workout you can do for yourself if you have stairs in your um, office space in the building take the stairs um, there's lots of things you can do to just make like little changes and and work away around working out and it doesn't have to be an hour to an hour and a half there's, there's no such thing honestly okay don't let anyone put pressure on you all right social media and standards in society is what teaches us to think that we should be perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, the number of BBLs and plastic surgery that's happening at the moment because of the pressures of society is wild. And I'm not against plastic surgery and women doing what they feel look, they yeah. need to look good, but I feel like a lot of women are doing it because they feel the pressure to look a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like moms who've just had babies or just moms in general have pressure to look like they didn't have a baby and, and that's, that's not true that, that doesn't work like that unless you've got a plastic surgeon and a chef in the kitchen and a trainer who's going to come train you as soon as you drop that baby it's not it's not realistic it's not and i've had so many women like inbox me they'll be like hey i'm three months postpartum and my tummy just won't go down and i'm just like let your body heal itself mm. And also you must listen to your body. When you can feel that, okay, your body is ready for some movement, then do it. Don't be pressured because you see other people exercising. Give your body time to heal because guys, your body has just gone through something huge, mind blowing. And it's a shock for your body as well. So just hug yourself now and then and be kind to yourself and your body, please. You. All right guys, so uh, we're going to come back when the meal is put together. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to do the noodles on the side and add them to the stock and that will be done. It's not complicated. It is vegetarian by the way because I don't eat someone meat. Someone doesn't eat meat. But not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I added chicken to mine. I got that because dealing with the kids. Um, it's a little bit salty. It's also been um, what most people would like, but I've got a heavy hand when it comes to spices. Um, so we'll hear, you guys will hear about two things. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? So tell us what you think. Good. 
I wouldn't say it's good when it's not like you would. No, say you would good. lie. No, I wouldn't. Not would I lie. Because you're trying to be nice. I would no, lie. No, I would have done shit. Did you lie about my smoothie? No, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> but you can see I was even the more I ate it, the more surprised you know, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this is nice. No, this is good. You didn't make it too spicy. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna go like my um my noodles. No.